Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I achieved this spring look. It has a peach eyelid with a blue waterline, a lot of bronzer with a beautiful highlight and nude glossy lips. I thought this would be perfect for the springtime and a great way to incorporate color into your makeup. So I hope you guys enjoy this makeup tutorial and if you wanna see how I achieved this look, then just stay tuned. Before we get started with this look, I just wanna let you guys know that I already have my concealer, my face powder on and my eyebrows done. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to start with our eyeshadow. We are going to do all coral shades on the lid so I have the perfect little palette from Estee Lauder that I want to use and it is called Bronze Amour and it looks like this. It's very pretty. There's a lot of great shades in here. So I am going to start by taking the lightest shade here right here. I'm going to apply that all over my lid. Next, I am going to take, and I'm just doing this as I go, so I'm going to take a more um, brown shade to put in my crease, and I am going to take the center color right here and apply that to my crease. And I do want this look to be very shimmery. That way if you guys go out, especially here in Miami, it's perfect when there's sun out so you could see all of the shimmer. It's really pretty. And I don't want the crease to be too dark just to give us enough definition. That's good. Um, and then what I am going to do is I'm going to add some of the gold shade that's right here. I'm going to place it just in the center of the lid with a flat brush like this. Actually, I may just apply this all over uh, three-fourths of the lid. Okay. So the next thing that I'm going to do is to apply a lighter color in the tear duct area. So from the um, Urban Decay Naked Basics palette, I'm going to take Venus, which is a nice frosted white shade. And I'm going to apply that with like a fluffy brush like this that I applied all over my lid. And I'm just going to apply it to the inner tear duct. Can brighten up the eyes and to open them up. Like that. And then with any fallout that we have, I'm just going to wipe it off with this flat foundation brush. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to apply some liquid eyeliner. I'm not going to do a full wing, but I do want to do a slight flick. So I'm going to apply this NYC um, liquid eyeliner. This is my favorite liquid eyeliner to use and it's very inexpensive. So we are just going to apply this. Just 
just like that. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is before I apply my mascara, to add an element of color, I want to add um, a blue liner in my waterline. And I think that peach and turquoise, this is, pro what is this called? This is Revlon's Photo Ready um, Intense Eyeliner and Brightener Crayon. So on one end, there is like a white color and on the other end, there's this blue shade. Um, and I want to apply this in my waterline before I apply my mascara to just make the peach pop a little bit more. So we are going to take that in here. I love this color. I always, if I ever want to add color to my eyes, because I tend to do natural eyeshadow look for the most part every day for work, I always like to have this blue crayon um, to apply in my inner uh, waterline. It goes really nice with a lot of eye shades, especially brown eyes. And it's a great way to transition into spring and summer. Okay. And as always, I'm using the Carbon Black Telescopic by L'Oreal. Okay, so now that I have applied four or five coats of mascara I like to apply a lot, I'm gonna add some to my lower lash line, uh, lo lower eyelashes as well. So now we are going to go to the cheeks and I want a very bronzy and highlighted cheek so I am going to take my favorite Hula by Benefit bronzer and I'm going to take my slanted brush which I got at TJ Maxx I think and just apply that here my cheekbones and any place that the sun would naturally hit, so. On the forehead as well. Make us look a little bit more tan. Okay. For the cheeks, I am going to be using this beautiful peach color by Milani. It's their baked blush and it's in Luminoso. I know I've used this in another tutorial, but it's literally the perfect peach that has the perfect amount of shine to it. So I am going to take my blush brush by Eco, Eco Tools and apply that to the cheeks. And like I've said before in prior tutorials, what I like to do is just take a, um, a brush that doesn't have anything on it and just kind of blend it just in case there's any um, lines or anything like that to make it look more natural and combined. Okay, we are good. And then we are going to take my favorite highlighter, which is Max Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. You're going to take it with a brush like this by Real Techniques. And you just apply that right here. I'm going to take my mirror so I don't get it everywhere. And this is gonna look beautiful when you go outside for the day and the sun touches your face. It's gonna be pretty. So for the lips, I am going to do a natural lip. 
the first thing that I'm going to do is take Maybelline's Lip Express Lipstick and Liner in One, and it is in the color Fleeting Fawn. Looks like this. It looks like a lip pencil, but it is creamier, so you can use it as a lipstick as well. I'm just kind of going to use it as a lip liner because I don't want it to be too brown on my lips. I want a real nude glossy lip. This is just going to make them look a little bit fuller before I put on the nude lipstick that I'm going to use. And then the lipstick that I'm going to take is Max Honey Love, and it is a matte lip shade. Looks like this. It looks like this. Then what I'm going to do just to make it a little bit lighter, I'm going to take this Revlon lip gloss in Bellini and I'm going to apply this in the center. Not all over because I have another lip shade that I'm going to add all over. And then to top it all off, I'm going to use this NARS lip gloss in, goodness, what does it say? Gold Digger. Okay. So I think our look is complete. Here is the spring makeup look with peachy coral eyelids blue waterline and some nude glossy lips so that is the finished look for this spring inspired makeup please be sure to thumbs up this video be sure to subscribe to my channel and comment for any videos that you would like to see i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and until next time bye guys